Welcome back guys to another Clash Crawl video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Princess because the Princess got hit with a huge nerf in the recent update, reducing the radius of her splash attack by 25%. So here's the deck I'm using. I have used this deck in a previous video, but the reason I wanted to use the same deck is that way it'll give us a good before and after comparison to the Princess's performance. So if you guys want to see the before video, I'll put a link in the description below. But let's go ahead here, take a look at a couple of replays, and then we'll finish off with a live battle. So here we are guys facing off against this level 10 inside the legendary arena and he's actually using a royal giant strategy which of course also got hit with a nerf in this recent update. Now in this video I want you guys to pay particular attention to the princesses and try and pinpoint occasions where the nerf actually makes a huge difference on the battle. Right here an early princess drop trying to get some quick chip damage into the tower. Now notice how the princess is still able to hit the bomber as well beside the tower so definitely no change right there. Musketeer going down to counter his troop and then I'm going to start setting up a counter push here with the Valkyrie up front but unfortunately he does drop down the minion horde as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Zap spell, hopefully save my Musketeer and then try and set up a Hog Rider push because the Musketeer is still alive and I want to maximize the use of my Elixir because I already spent the 4 Elixir on the Musketeer so I might as well go ahead and support her on a counter push and as a result the Hog Rider makes it to the tower doing some decent damage, bringing it all the way down to 1700 health. Now Princess going down once again, hopefully able to take out the Barbarians before they make it to the tower, but in the end I get a bit nervous, the Barbarians get awfully close to my tower, and I don't want them getting any chip damage done, so I went ahead and used the Valkyrie. So I'm going to start doing a counter push here with the Valkyrie up front as well as the Princess in the back. Now notice how the Princess targets the Musketeer right there. Now I'm pretty sure before the update, that Princess shot would have also managed to hit the tower as well, Netting me a free 150 damage in the process, so definitely a little bit of a change since the update right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and soak up that Musketeer shot. I want to try and build up an Electra advantage and then go on the offensive, but my opponent here is going to start doing a slow push with the Royal Giant way in the back. I know he's pretty low in Elixir, so I'm going to do an immediate Hog Rider push. Now fortunately for me, his Zap spell isn't high enough level to one-shot my Ice Spirit, and as a result, the Hog Rider does some decent damage to the tower bring it all the way down to 1500 or sorry 500 health prince is going down right here hopefully able to damage all those barbarians i'm also going to use a valkyrie to pull the barbarians away and distract them allowing the cannon to go down and target the royal giant now thankfully with the nerf to the royal giant he doesn't do too much damage and he's only able to get one hit on my tower princess is still alive musketeer going down tanking for the princess saving her Gonna start setting up another push here, hopefully in a second, but in the end he drops down the minion horde and one minion survives, killing my princess, which is really unfortunate, but I'm gonna go ahead here and start setting up a Valkyrie Hog Rider push, but I'm making a huge mistake, dropping down the Hog Rider in front of the Valkyrie. I wanted the Hog Rider in the back to push the Valkyrie, but notice right there that final princess hitting the Barbarians. I'm pretty sure before the update, that final hit would have also hit the tower and gave me the one crown lead. So unfortunately, because of the princess nerf in this update, I'm forced to go in once again with another push or use my zap spell to finish off that tower. Right here, defending against another raw giant push. Princess coming in clutch, killing all those minions. And in a couple seconds, I'm going to go ahead and use the zap spell to finish off the tower and secure the one crown victory. Hog Rider going in there, Zaspel going down, giving me the one crown victory. Let's go ahead to the next replay. So here we are guys, facing off against someone using a Royal Giant Miner strategy. So I definitely felt pretty good winning this battle. Now in a moment here, he's going to do a push on the left hand lane with his princess. Unfortunately, I don't really have a decent counter in my starting hand. So I'm going to go ahead and do a slow push behind my King Tower with the Musketeer. And in a few moments, he's going to go ahead and start doing a Royal Giant push. Now Goblin's going down in the back. Royal Giant going down in front, gonna go ahead and use the cannon to distract the Royal Giant, but unfortunately my Zap spell isn't high enough level to kill his goblins, so I'm forced to use the Princess as well, and as a result the Royal Giant gets a couple hits on my tower, bringing it all the way down to 2300 health, but I did win a pretty big elixir advantage in their process, I'm sitting at about 6 or so, he has 2, so I'm gonna go in pretty quickly here on the right hand side with a Hog Rider Goblin Ice Spirit push, now take a look at what happens, unfortunately at my half second too late with the Zaspel, and as a result, the Hog Rider dies, and I only get a couple stabs off from those goblins. So that wasn't really the successful push that I was hoping for. Now, I'm going to sit back here and start building up my Elixir once again, and wait for my opponent to make the next move. He's going to come in with a minor minion strategy, Valkyrie going down to distract the miner, and the Prince is going down to hopefully take out all the minions, but unfortunately, one single minion by itself is distracted 
goes in there and kills the princess. So that was a huge mistake there with the princess drop. And as a result, those two other minions did a good amount of damage to my tower, bringing it down to 1500 health. Now, Valkyrie going up here, she's going to get one hit on that tower, but nothing to get too excited about. Now, right here with the princess coming back on a counter push, I'm expecting a royal giant drop. And there it is. Going to go ahead and use the musketeer to distract the princess, and then use the cannon to distract the royal giant with the goblins going down to take it out pretty quickly. Now, the ice bear there was probably unnecessary. It was one elixir wasted looking back at it. Now, he's coming with a nether miner right here, taking out the musketeer, which isn't too bad because I'm forcing my opponent to use his cards out of rotation. And once you get your opponent out of their card rotation, and if you can keep them that way, that's always a good thing. So Valkyrie going up here, he has to answer it. Cannon going down, and because of the cannon placement, I can go ahead and use the Princess to get some damage on it, and then try and do a Hogwarts push in a couple moments, because like I said, my opponent is out of his card rotation, so hopefully he won't have the cannon available for my hog rider push. Right here, cannon going down to distract the royal giant. Ice pair going down to damage the minions, and that's gonna allow the princess to one-shot them. Goblin's going up there on the right-hand side, getting a little bit of chip damage done, but unfortunately, my opponent has already set the back to his cannon. Right here, Valkyrie going down, taking out all his goblins, as well as the miner. And then in a couple moments, I'm gonna try and go in with a hog rider push. His cannon going down, once again, to take out the Valkyrie. So like I said, his car rotation is all messed up. I'm gonna do a pick push here with the goblins as well as the hog rider. He uses the fireball and misses my hog rider. So the hog rider is able to do some decent damage to that tower, bring it down to 8,000 health. But Miner coming in once again on the left hand lane. Chris is getting some chip damage into the tower and things are starting to look not so good for me. My tower is sitting at like 600 health here pretty soon and I'm facing somebody using a Royal Giant strategy and of course, it's always pretty hard to prevent a Royal Giant from at least getting a couple hits on your tower. But thankfully, my opponent's card rotation is all messed up and he uses the cannon there to counter my Valkyrie, which means I have an opening here to go in with the Hog Rider as well as the Musketeer on the right hand side. He drops the Fireball once again, Hog Rider doing some good damage to the tower, bring it down to 300 health, but the Royal Giant coming in here, so cannon going down to distract it. Now I just want to point out that if my Zaspel was high enough level to kill those goblins, I would already have the victory, but unfortunately that just isn't the case. Prince is going down, taking out all those minions before they do any damage to my tower. Valkyrie going down here to counter the miner, but he's able to get some chip damage down to the tower. Fireball going down, bringing my tower down to 143 health. Now, thankfully, the princess was nerfed in the update. Otherwise, that last princess shot right there on the Valkyrie would have actually finished off my tower, giving my opponent the one crown victory. But right here, going in with a Hog Rider Ice Spirit push, Hog Rider making it to the tower, giving me that one crown victory. Let's go ahead here and do a live battle. So here we are, facing off against a level 10. Give them the all good luck, and we'll see what happens here. We actually have a decent starting hand now. I only ever usually do the princess drop at the start of a battle if the Zaspel is either in my hand or the next card available. Because if they have like a goblins or fire spirits or skeletons, then I can go ahead and zap them right away. Now right here, princess should hopefully kill all those barbarians. Might have to use a Valkyrie up front here. There we go. Now I'm not too sure why the princess stopped attacking there, allowing the barbarian to get one hit off. That always kind of frustrates me when that happens. But let's go ahead and do a hog rider. Goblin push right here. And let's see what happens. Can we zap something? Is it worth it? Probably not, but I did it anyways. And we're actually doing some decent damage. We might actually take that tower in that one push there. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of this princess nerf? Was it too much or was it justified? Do you think the princess was perfectly balanced beforehand? Or do you think the princess was overpowered and deserved the nerf? Uh, if I had to be honest with you guys, I'll say that I think the princess nerf was a little bit justified. Maybe it was a bit overdone. Uh, maybe it would have been like 15% area reduction or something like that. Um, but I know before I had the princess, before I ever had the princess, I used to often think to myself that the princess was way too overpowered. And it would be kind of hypocritical to change my opinion after getting the princess and then start thinking that she was balanced. Um, but I want to hear from you guys. What do you think? So let's see here. Musketeer going down. I already had the one crown lead. So I don't really have to play aggressive or anything. I can just play super safe and play defensive. Let's go ahead with that and that. Let's go ahead and use a princess right here. Hopefully kill something. You know, unfortunately, I don't really have an efficient answer to enemy princesses if um, if they're out of range like that. But thankfully, the Valkyrie going down, saving my princess from his ice wizard, doing some decent work. And he's forced to use his, his miner out of rotation there. So definitely not too bad at all. Let's go ahead and use this musketeer right here. And as well as some goblins up there. And then going to go ahead and use this cannon 
distract this royal giant with a princess of our own. And let's go ahead and just zap this just for fun. Like I said, I don't really have to uh, worry about going on the offensive anymore because I already have the one crown lead. Let's see here. Princess is going to die from that poison spell. Let's go ahead and just use a musketeer. I'm expecting another royal giant here pretty shortly. Going ahead with a Valkyrie right here. Let's go ahead and use some goblins up there to kill that princess. Use our princess of our own right there. And I definitely haven't really noticed too much of a change. I mean, the uh, the princess nerf is definitely noticeable. But I'm still winning with the strategy. And I'm still at the same trophy range that I used to be before the nerf. So it's not like I'm losing a bunch of battles now because of the princess nerf. So here we are, guys. Four seconds left. My opponent has no chance of coming back. So I do get the one crown victory. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you in the next video.